Hello, everybody. Coach Jordan here coming to you for 5-1 Friday Rev. Here's what we got for you today. Starting off the day uh, with three minutes of movement. Um, I believe the weather's still going to be gorgeous, so a good day to get out and get out for a nice little three-minute jog. Uh, run, row, bike, ski, jump rope, uh, walk up and down your stairs. Give me some form of movement for three minutes. Okay. Then we're going to go through these three movements twice. We're going to go through a scorpion stretch. We're going to go through a lat stretch. And then we're going to go 10 left, 10 right of a step and hold or a side step with a high knee. Okay, so that one I'll have to demo. Uh, the scorpion stretch and the lat stretch, you've done these before, but we'll talk about those. Uh, and then 10 left, 10 right of a step and hold. Okay, so three minutes of movement, then go through these three movements twice. Our strength portion today is a six minute EMOM every minute on the minute of five strict push ups, or the hardest variation of a push up that you can give me. Um, if you want to substitute this for a floor press, you could totally do that. There's no push ups in our workout, um, but here I want these to be tough. Okay, so if you struggle with push ups, uh, with strict push ups, or you can only do a couple, uh, grab some weight and do some floor press. Uh, we'll talk about that. Okay, so six minutes, every minute on the minute. Five presses, a total of 30 in six minutes. Okay, so let's talk about all of that. <sighs> Happy Friday, y'all. Weather outside is gorgeous. It's currently Thursday at 9.45 a.m., but it is beautiful outside. I'm doing this now so I can enjoy the day. Uh, so three minutes of cardio movement, any way you can. The scorpion stretch. Uh, we've done this one a bunch in class before. I don't necessarily have the room to do it, but you're going to take your right arm, extend it out, and put it just above your shoulder so it's not perpendicular with my body it's slightly above so i'm pointing out front left arm just needs to be out of the way and i'm going to push my leg over okay what this is going to do i'm completely goofed up let me start that over <laughs> i'm putting my right leg over my left hand needs to be just above my shoulder and then i'll throw my right leg over nice good stretch hold that for about 10 to 15 seconds then switch sides I'm throwing my left leg over, my right arm is extended out, and throw my left leg over. If you can touch the floor, great. If you can't, get as far as you can, hold that stretch, okay? Our next stretch is going to target our lats, because we have um, the push-ups in our strength portion today. So what I'm going to do, usually I would have my folks do this off of a barbell that they've set up for like front squats or back squats, or something we're taking from off the rack. You're gonna go ahead and turn your hands like you're karate chopping the ground in front of you. And then you're gonna sink your butt back and try to touch your nose to the carpet. As you're doing that, you should feel a really good stretch underneath the backside of your arm and down your lats, maybe even in your core a little bit. That's good. Okay, we're gonna hold this stretch for about 20 seconds. So as you're doing that, rock your weight back in and out. Try to get your butt closer to the floor. And every time you exhale, try to sink your body a little bit lower, okay? And then your 10 left, 10 right, step and hold. This is basically a side step with a high knee hold as you catch. So if I hop over with my right knee, I'm going to catch and hold with my left. Same thing. So there's one on each side. It's a little bit of balance involved here. It's tough with a really squishy carpet, so let me focus. One. One. Two. Two. Three. Three, four, four. You're gonna do that for 10 total steps on each side. A little bit of balance, a little bit of coordination. You're gonna be tired after those 20. 20 total, 10 on each side, okay? So your scorpion stretch, your lat stretch, 10 left, 10 right of your step and hold, that's your warm up. okay? Strength portion today, push-ups. Great movement. I thought I heard something, sorry. Uh, great movement, you could do a lot of these. You, could, you should be doing all the push-up work you could ever want at home because it's a great time to do it okay uh, strict push-ups means full range of motion uh, and the hardest variation you can give me okay um, for those of you that have the hip circle bands at home I want you to avoid using those uh, for this movement I don't want any assistance from any bands or any equipment during this movement okay I want it to be as hard and as raw as possible okay so for me and for some of us, push-ups can be pretty easy, or we can knock out, you know, 10 to 15 strict reps pretty easily without thinking about it. Okay, some of us can't. It's okay. 
Um, for those of you that can, get your feet elevated. Find a chair, put your feet on the chair, and do an elevated push-up. Uh, if you're good with handstand push-ups, today would be a great day to do five strict handstand push-ups every minute on the minute. As long as you can give me five every minute. Otherwise, stick with regular push-ups today. All right? Full range of motion. So when you go to your push-up, I'm in a high plank. My butt is squeezed. I go all the way to the floor. I come all the way back up. Three, four, and five. And then you'll rest the remainder of that minute. If those need to be from your knee, that's okay. All the way down, all the way up, okay? Give me the hardest variation of push-up that you can for five reps every minute for six minutes, okay? That's your strength and warm-up for Friday, May 1st. Get after it, friends.